I'm here with The Runway and Ray Lynn, a team that is making their trio's debut whoa, here whoa, whoa, at... A wait, you call that an introduction? Seriously? Come really? I'm trying. Worst yeah. introduction yeah. ever. Do you realize who this is? Do you know who I am? I feel like you're gonna tell me. She tell puts me. the tell Ray me. in Cray. This is one of the best female, no, the best wrestlers in the game today. In and that's game. your introduction? The My apologies. Disrespect. Well, what can people expect from your match tonight? I'll take over on this one. What can you expect from our match tonight? Total domination. Runway versus Ray Cray equals excellence. Thank, thank you for your time. You're, you're, yeah. welcome. you're, you're welcome. You're welcome for the better for us. Yeah. introduction. Yeah, yeah. Don't know what I'd do without you. It's time to get Cray. Can you fly? Ray, Ray Cray. Cray. Enjoy wrestling. I'm here with Devon Monroe, Erica Lee, and Edith Surreal, who tonight as a trio are taking on The Runway and Ray Lynn. And later tonight, we will see all three of these competitors in the Enjoy Odyssey. So how are you approaching this with your trios match and then the Odyssey to follow? I mean, look at us. Have you ever seen a more beautiful trio in your life? I for sure haven't. We are going to work together as this beautiful, well-oiled machine to win our trios match. And then my teammates are going to help me win the Enjoy Odyssey. Um, well, oh, oh. I didn't, did you sign up for I well, don't gonna, think we're going to help you. Yeah. But hey, I'm here making my Enjoy Wrestling debut. I have you two hey. here who have been here before. So I trust you. We're going to get the win over the runway. Mm -hmm. But don't get it twisted. I'm going to be the one to win the Odyssey Battle Royal. Yeah. The runway and Ray Lynn, okay, we've got that. We've got that. The Odyssey Battle Royal, I, I'm, I'm going to try to win that. I'm not helping you. That's me. That's me. That's me. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Victory surely in the trios tournament. After that, it's anyone's game. Hi, everyone. I'm Dana Scott. Hi, and I'm Marcus Mann. Welcome to the Enjoy Wrestling Commentary Test. We are here for Season 7 of Enjoy Wrestling. We have a huge season ahead of you. All the Enjoy Championships will be defended, as well as, of course, culminating in the Enjoy Odyssey. I'm so pumped. Absolutely. Every journey, every Odyssey. He starts with the beginning, and Enjoy Wrestling tonight is going to give us one of the biggest beginnings they've ever had, and kick it off with a bag. We have three big episodes coming for you, and I cannot wait. Starting first, we have a little bit of a sampler for the upcoming Enjoy Odyssey, and that's going to be in a couple weeks, but first, six of the participants for the Enjoy Odyssey, they're going to take on each other in a six-person tag. That is coming up next, and later on in the episode, well, you're going to see a first-time ever matchup, Lee Moriarty versus Alex. Our main event here tonight. Hello, how's everybody feeling tonight? Enjoy wrestling. I said, how is everybody feeling tonight? Oh. It's Billy Dixon. Buddy, I'm so sorry. So it really sucks that intergender wrestling. Wrestling, wrestling legend Lufisto cannot be here. 
She's the best. Give it up for her. But that has opened up Lou Fisto. Lou Fisto. Lou Fisto. Lou Fisto. But that has opened up an opportunity. And tis the season, the hat. But also, whatever you celebrate, that's pretty cool. I just happen to celebrate Christmas. Happy holidays, right? There's an opportunity for someone to challenge the champ, Envy Young, the king of the motherfucking polyam call, the king of Pittsburgh tonight. Now, I really shouldn't be here because in June I decided to walk away from professional wrestling. I tore, thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> In, in, in April, I tore my meniscus, and that set me on a downward spiral. I almost took my life, and I decided I needed to reevaluate the who, what, where, when, and why of Billy Dixon. So I took six very, very long months away from the ring. And I realized that life presents us with all kinds of gifts. This right here is a gift and a privilege to perform for all of you. The opportunity to wrestle for a championship is another gift. So, if none of these other people in the back are gonna take this gift, I guess I'm gonna fight Envy Young tonight! I'm gonna challenge for the Enjoy Wrestling Championship. And I believe that life is a gift and it has so many gifts in and of itself. So my Christmas present to myself for the work I did, for my mind, my body, and my soul to have the gift to perform for you all is to kick the shit out of Envy Young and become the new Enjoy Wrestling Champion. that we're gonna have a Yuletide holiday street fight for the championship, and Michael Vincent, I know you can hear me, get off your phone and pay attention. <laughs> Michael Vincent Young, you have held this title for a long time, but guess what? It's gonna be a new year, and a new year starts with the business as the new champion. Happy fucking holidays! The following contest is a trios match scheduled for one fall. It's the runway, it's Ray Lynn. They're familiar to me, they're familiar to everyone here in Pittsburgh. Babe, they're familiar to you as well. You had your own run in with the runway. Yes, the runway are very familiar to anyone who watches the joint wrestling, but I have to say, I am a little bit surprised that I thought we were gonna get the runway introduction and then like maybe re Ray Lynn later for the runway to step aside and well, literally give Ray Lynn the runway. I mean, they must really have faith in this trio as a unit. Well, and that's gonna be the, the motif of this match. It is a trio's match, but as we said, the Enjoy Odyssey at the end of this season will be one for all. Will this trio be able to stick together for the entire Odyssey, for the entire journey? I'm unsure, but look, when you got a dream team like this, when you got winners like this from Pittsburgh, gotta think that they're the favorites. 
Yeah, Ray Lynn fits right in with the runway, huh? <laughs> that she garners from the fans here. Yes, in Pittsburgh, but all over. Everyone who watches Enjoy, including on YouTube, as you're watching right now. And we just want to thank you for that. And Raylan is... Raylan is directing traffic a little bit here. Well, Raylan is a, is a veteran of this industry. Over 10 years, worldwide wrestler out in California for uh, Wild Wrestling. She's good friends with Jeannie Buss. She knows she's a veteran there. She's going to pick her side where she wants to set up her team. Now it looks like it's going to be Edith Surreal starting off, and Ray Lynn is the member of her team in the ring. So are we going to get Edith and Ray Lynn starting off right away? If we do, this is a little bit of a dream match you're enjoying. Ray Lynn's making her debut. Ah, uh, that's smart. Raylan's not going to tolerate any rudeness from any official. I'm going to tell you that right now. Who gave you those stripes? So biased. As you pointed out, though, Raylan making her enjoy wrestling. Whoa, debut here in this trio's tag match. But we will see Raylan again in this season because she's already been entered into the Enjoy Odyssey the same goes for De Devon Monroe. They both are going to want to impress in this opening matchup. Edith reaching for the ropes. Ray Lynn, though, wrenching, wrenching on this wrist lock. And with the technical prowess of Edith Surreal, it, it's rare to see someone in control of her, but Edith with a quick reversal. Yeah, feeling out process here. I don't, in my research, I don't think Edith and uh, Ray Lynn have ever uh, locked up before, so this is a first time for each one. Impressive. Yeah, cartwheeling into the headlock. Um, some of the fans here at Mr. Smalls not so impressed. Edith that was, that into was less impressive. Around. That was less impressive, uh, Veda, and she got more uh, cheers. I don't like that. Whoa! Edith under the legs. Quick knuckle lock, but transitions immediately back into a headlock. But Ray Lynn pulls out a hair. Reversal, and again, you can see that 10 years of experience shining through in Ray Lynn here today. But Surreal, constantly in motion, constantly a work of art. What? Oh. Diversionary tactics on the part of Edith Surreal. Whoa. Ray Lynn goes and picks the leg and gets rolled out. The tag. Yeah, veteran move. 
from Ray Lynn. Just has to break Edith's momentum there. Get Tyler Klein in. Take a breather. Take a break. Tyler Klein calling his shot as well. Tyler wants the big gal. Now these two have tangoed before. She's so big. Erica Lee is, is rangy as well. It's not just height. She's like a like Kevin Durant or Kawhi Leonard. She's got that big wingspan on her that she can reach out and, and, and take control of a match very easily. Oh. oh, no, no, no. You're not going to knock down a hoss like that. And then wait, Klein says, I think Klein says, bring it on. Erica hits the ropes, goes for a tackle of her own. Klein not quite taken off his feet, but he did stagger a little bit. Very generous of Tyler Klein. Very generous to let Eric Lee go again. Whoa! Quick pass that. Oh! Oh, and a kick to the spine. Eric Lee outsmarting Tyler Klein. And now Klein with a quick reversal. Lee underneath. Oh, a big flying tackle. And Klein retreats to his corner. There's a tag, Calvin Couture illegal. Uh oh. All right. All right, this is how you get rid of the height advantage if on the runway. Genius move, genius move. Things are really coming together here for the runway. They have formed some sort of Megatron monster. And look how tiny Erica Lee is now. Look how tiny she is. Oh! Erica Lee taking down both members of the runway at once. Of course, it's Calvin Couture who's legal. Credit where credit's due. Gorgeous tan on Couture today. I will say that. Erica Lee got Calvin up on the shoulders. Calvin comes down hard. And this truly has been all two minutes or so in this match. Yeah, Erica Lee has taken over. It's, again, it's that size advantage that she she presents. It's so difficult. Tag to Devon Monroe. Black Saxon's coming in hotter than hot. A big boot by Lee and the pin by Devon. And this match was almost over very quickly. Yeah, but Calvin Couture is, is a professional. He's a great wrestler. I'm not going to put Calvin Couture away that easily. Monroe, control of the wrist here. And, oh, knee to the gut. Gets Couture an advantage. Big, big forearm to Devon. And as we pointed out before, Devon Monroe also making his enjoyed wrestling debut in this match. But we will see Devon later. Tour. And here again, we just see the runway. They have the experience here in Enjoy Wrestling. And I can tell you from experience, when you're making your debut with a new wrestling promotion, especially one that, that has the allure and the cachet of an Enjoy Wrestling, sometimes you get a little too far ahead of yourself. And I think that's maybe what happened to Devon. Now trying to get things back together. Oh. Monroe laces the finger. Kick out from Couture. Again, a pro and a tag team specialist. Calvin Couture's got to find a way to break momentum here, get over to his partners and make a tag. I agree because look at Ray Lynn. Ray Lynn is. Ray Lynn is having a little conversation with the referee and just distracting the official who missed Tyler Klein. Big knee to the back of Devon Monroe. And now Couture goes for the cover. I don't, I don't know what 
Ray Lynn was talking about, but I think the referee's been disrespecting her all night. That's what I think happened. Well, and as you pointed out before, although these are two trios teams, all six of these individuals will be in the Enjoy Odyssey later this season. So although we're seeing a lot of cohesiveness on the part of the runway, whoa, big sweep by Ray Lynn and Ray Lynn, eventually they're all going to be in the ring together fighting each other. Yeah. Big double team move there, and now Ray Lynn go for the cover. And Monroe kicks out. It's a great point, Vader. When you're in a trios match, when you're with your friends, when you've created these type of dream teams, you want to get that win, you want to impress, but look, the Odyssey uh, will be for everyone, and if Ray Lynn or Calvin Couture or Tyler Klein can find an opportunity to, uh, you know, be more prepared for that with, with these competitors, I think it's a great start for them. Well, and in case you didn't get the memo, the Enjoy Odyssey, the prize at the end of that for the winner, for the person who withstands the entire run of the Odyssey, they become the number one contender for the Enjoy Championship. Oh, wait! Devon Monroe lands on his feet, tags it in, it's surreal! And now Anna, a house of fire, running wild on the runway, taking down both Couture and Klein. A melon ball DDT! Uh-oh. Wait, here comes Ray Lynn! Surreal set up something that Ray Lynn's not going to let that go. Oh, oh! And Surreal just got backdropped onto the knees of Tyler Klein. Veteran instincts by, by Ray Lynn getting in there, stopping that maneuver, and now the team of Runway and Runway and Ray Lynn have the advantage. Smart, smart moves. Now Ray Lynn, huge running knee. I love the tag team consistency of the runway and Raylan. Just a lot of quick tags, in and out, saving themselves. Finally dragging Surreal out of the corner. Oh! Cover again by Klein, and it's still not enough. Edith is crawling, crawling, crawling towards her corner. And now dragged back into the runway's corner. I've even stopped saying the runway in Ray Lynn. Oh, no, they're, really, they're one it really team. feels like, yeah, she's become a member, at least for now. I don't think officially, and as we get to the Odyssey, I definitely don't think it's, that's going to be official. Well, because as I was saying before, the winner of the Enjoy Odyssey becomes the number one contender for the Enjoy Championship, which is currently held by MB Young. Can you imagine if, say, Devon Monroe or Ray Lynn in their first season here at Enjoy became number one contender? That would be huge. I think it would be one of the biggest oh. moments in Enjoy history, but look like a chin breaker by Edith Surreal. Oh, but did you see that? The runway coming around the outside Brilliant. of the ring. Brilliant. Brilliant strategy. To pull Devon Monroe and Erica Lee off the apron. No tag was made, giving Ray Lynn time to recover. And there, that martial arts background of Ray Lynn coming through once again. Ray Lynn, as you said, kickboxing background can pinpoint those kicks perfectly right into the spine of Edith Surreal. Oh. Wish boning the legs, and now it's Couture working over the neck, over the chin of Surreal, who, who is trying frantically to, to just grab any part of Couture's body to get out of this submission. Laying in some blows, Surreal finally at least up to her feet and gets taken back down by Couture. I gotta say, I'm very much impressed with uh, both uh, Monroe and Lee's ability. They haven't gotten off their game, even though the runway and Ray Lynn have talked so much smack to them. They're not uh, getting in the ring, they're not distracting the referee, they're staying focused with the objectives, get that tag, get that victory. Well, again, although this is, you know, not for a championship or anything like that, it's still a very important match here in the season of Enjoy. It is opening up our seventh season. You don't want to get disqualified in this first match. Oh, Ray Lynn might be in trouble here. Goes to pick the leg of Surreal, but Surreal, the Ansegiri almost baited Ray Lynn in, and now Eden is reaching for her corner for the tag. Erica Lee is legal. Team. Erica Lee just controlling that center of the ring. Lee action come right to her. Uh oh. oh. That's, oh. Not, that's not how 
they wanted to put their heads together. Calvin Couture is stumbling into the oh. ring and manages to nail Erica with that a shot. Oh! Huge tackle out of the corner. Lee's, Lee's back up on her feet. She's waiting. Big spin kick, knocking. I think that knocked Calvin Klein into Calvin Couture. And Tyler Klein and Calvin Couture trying to figure out where they even are as Oh, here comes some high flying. Look out! Corkscrew cross body! Connecting to both members of the runway. Devon Monroe coming in like a steamroller. Devon Monroe is built on momentum and look out! Huge neck breaker. Ooh. Ray Lynn with a combo of kicks. She realizes. Klein. Oh! Just planted Lee. But he is surreal. A big snap suplex to take down Couture. And here comes Klein. was it. What a win this would be for Tyler Klein to pin the quote-unquote keystone of, of enjoy. What a win that would be. What a, what a setup that could be for the runway. And now look, they look, look like they're heading for the uh, so last season. Oh, no, no, a trio's version. Oh. A trio's version. Well, this makes sense. They Home were run. working so cohesively, but wait, the big guy with the big boot. How'd you get her foot up that high? She's just so big. Tag style Lee Moriarty, who is taking on Ally Catch tonight for the first time ever. Now, you requested this match. Why is it so important to you? Yeah, I did request this match. Because when Enjoy Wrestling books Lee Moriarty, when they book Tag style, 
They expect high quality competition against high quality opponents. Darius Lockhart, Mike Bailey, Alley Catch. And I ain't hating. Alley Catch works very hard. She's quite talented. But she wants to be referred to as a wrestler's wrestlers now. And to be honest, adding two letters to the end of your last name ain't gonna change that. So you're gonna have to earn it. You will have to put that extra time and that extra work in. This is your shot, this is your chance, this is your moment, this is your Christmas gift from me. Earn what you want. Because my name is Lee Moriarty, and this is Tiger Style. Strong words from Lee Moriarty. Thank you for joining us for Enjoy Wrestling, and we'd love to thank our fabulous sponsors, Chantel's Cheese, Leona's Ice Cream, Butler Area Toy Show, Spirit Pizza, Marveling at Marvel's Marvel's Podcast, Maud's Paper Wing Gallery, The Grit and Glitter Podcast, Harold's Haunt, and Fungus Books. Do you want to keep watching awesome Enjoy Wrestling events for free on the internet? Well, there's only one way we can continue to bring that to you, and that is through the support of our patrons. Thank you, everyone who has gotten on board at patreon.com slash enjoy wrestling. Truly, we couldn't do this without you. Looking for Enjoy Wrestling merchandise? You're going to want to go to enjoy-wrestling.com. We got new shirts. We got beanies. We got enamel pens. We even got foam championship belts. Hey, Enjoy Wrestling fans. Want to help support Enjoy Wrestling? Subscribe to our Patreon. Get sweet benefits like access to the Enjoy Wrestling Discord, where you can chat with the Enjoy Wrestling crew, wrestlers, and like-minded Enjoy Wrestling fans. Plus, get your name in the credits of every episode of Enjoy Wrestling on YouTube and watch exclusive behind-the-scenes Enjoy Wrestling video content. Help keep Enjoy Wrestling free to watch for everyone. Subscribe to the Enjoy Wrestling Patreon today. I'm here with Ali Catch ahead of first ever matchup with Lee Moriarty. This is very exciting. These two are so acclaimed in wrestling right now. Now, I talked to Lee and he said that his Christmas gift to you is the opportunity to wrestle him and prove that you're a technical wrestler. Uh, so how do you feel about that? Well, before you told me that, I was extremely excited to be here and wrestle Lee. Lee is uh, a peer that I came up with. And truly, this last year, uh, more than anything, I've wanted to gain the respect of my peers, the locker room, uh, people I look up to. Um, going forward, though, with an attitude like that, this is not the respect that I need. This is not the respect that I want. Because to me, it feels like Lee lately has taken an underhand route. It feels like he doesn't even have the respect of people that he looks up to. Because if he did, maybe he'd actually be under the wing of one. So I guess we're both flying solo here, Lee, and we'll see who the better wrestler is. Only time will tell. Thanks, Allie. The following is a singles competition scheduled for one fall, one fall and is sponsored by Mod's Paper Wing Gallery. Absolutely. Ali is looking to move her way up the ladder, and the best way to do that is to take on the Pittsburgh legend himself, Tyga style Lee Moriarty. 
So, in my opinion, both Lee and Allie have something to prove here tonight when it comes to Enjoy Wrestling. I think you're absolutely right. And Lee Moriarty is the type of individual who's going to be trying to prove himself uh, every single time he's out there. doesn't matter if it's a championship match. doesn't matter if he's the champion. Lee Moriarty wants to prove himself against the absolute best that he can find out there. And I think he has run up an Allie catch into someone that fits the bill perfectly. Right to the lockup here. Lee takes the back, but Allie sits out to try to get out of this hold and takes control of the wrist. Allie catch, again, we've seen the metamorphosis of Allie into just a professional wrestler, as she claims. Lee now with the takedown into a front face lock, and the perfect way to test your pro wrestling skills, as you said, is against someone who is so well-versed, so well-traveled in Lee Moriarty. And Moriarty rolling through to hold on to this chancery. Ali scrambling into a pin, and that does also break the hold. But you can see a little, little emotion on the face of Ali Catch. I don't think this is going quite the way that she had hoped, but it's only the opening it's moment. All, it's only the opening. And Lee Moriarty, as you said, he's so gifted on the mat. He was trained by Pittsburgh legends, mentored by icons across the country. Uh, this is his playground. If you're going to try and match him move for move, it's going to be tough. It's going to be uh, difficult. But that's what Al Ali Cash wanted to do. She wanted to match Lee Moriarty move for move. Ali once again zeroing in on the wow. wrist and Good. holding on to the top wrist lock. Lee looking for a reversal, using any part of his body he can, but Allie, to her credit, holding on, holding tight. Now Moriarty takes the wrist. Catch is going to have to do something here. Weaving through into a headlock and a takedown catch. It's Moriarty the map, but Moriarty with the head scissors to reverse and now wrenching on the neck. Rolling catch through. Yeah, beautiful ring positioning by Moriarty, using his body to roll Alley Catch through to the center of the ring where Lee Moriarty could control the entire mat. And I, I can tell you from experience when you're in there with someone who is, oh, wait, I can tell you from experience that Alley Catch is very well versed at reversals, but I was going to say that when you're in there with someone who is constantly in motion, constantly changing position, it's so disorienting when you're the person trapped in that submission. But right now it's Lee Moriarty trapped in this, in this almost a, a rocking horse style submission with the legs grapevine. Moriarty though able to roll out, takes catch down into a crucifix, into a pin. There's some aggression out of Lee Moriarty. Well, you know, in recent months, in AEW, we've seen, to me at least, a very different Lee Moriarty. Not just more aggressive, but a little more, you know, attitudinal, a little, a little mouthier. Yeah, I mean, look, Ali Catch wants to say, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a wrestler. I, that's what I do now. Well, this is what Lee does. So if you're going to get in there and say you want to be a wrestler, get in there and show it. And back. Lee Moriarty's going to be aggressive with this. Back to the lockup. Into a hammerlock catch. Looking for a reversal here. Has grabbed the head, but Moriarty fighting a catch. Transitioning into a headlock. It's taken back into the corner. Two, three, four. Oh. Ooh. No clean break. That was an elbow to the side of the face. And again, this is a new... 
a new version of Lee Moriarty. More aggressive, a little dirtier. But I think that sometimes, like you said, that's something oh, that comes with time. Moriarty went for another tackle. Catch tried to stop him. Catch underneath, picks the leg. A car wheel and a hook oh. kick. Look, that's what Ali Catch has to do. She can't play Lee Moriarty's game. She's got to play her as cover. Only a one count from Ali Catch off that senton. You got, like I said, you, Ali, you know, she wants to prove herself as a wrestler, but if she wants to beat Lee Moriarty, she has to play her game, not Lee's. And yeah. Veda, Veda, I gotta ask you, you've been in there with Ali Catch. You've been in there with someone like Lee Moriarty. What, if you're Alice, Ali Catch, what's your strategy against a guy like Lee Moriarty? What are you looking to do in there? Well, like you said, it's unlikely that you'll be able to out-wrestle him in terms of like a repertoire of submissions because Lee has just an endless array to choose from. He has trade with the best, like you said. For Allison, though, she has a, a number of strength-based maneuvers in her arsenal. She's a heavy striker, all of that. I think will come into play as this match goes on. And now a quick roll up by Catch. Oh, oh there you go. There, there you go, baby. Perfect, perfect segue. That's what Ali Catch does better than than nearly anyone else is those big precision forearms. Oh. And now, of course, all over the world, we have seen Ali Catch in, in deathmatch situations. But as far as I'm concerned, that is not what this match is about no. for Ali. Covered by Lee. She wants to prove that she can beat Lee Moriarty at his own game. And she's continuing to go right back to that playbook to really uh, focus on Lee Moriarty. And look at this is this is a version of Alakash that we have heard about, but now she's really displaying it. Moriarty trying to work his way up to his feet. There it is. If you notice, every single time Lee Moriarty is going for that arm, every single time, there's been no point of offense where Lee hasn't been looking for that arm and shoulder. Oh. And another strike from Ali Catch. And Lee Moriarty shook. Those strikes have knocked him down to the mat. Ali, looking. Maybe the Northern Light Suplex Lee, she has an absolutely beautiful one, but Moriarty. Oh, with the shoulder breaker. You could hear the, the snap. I don't know if that was something coming out of place, a ligament, I don't know what, but Allie's gonna have to fight through this. What a, sh Lee Moriarty, again, Al Allie Catch, a little bit of a bigger individual. Lee Moriarty went for that Irish whip, Allie Catch with the reversal and threw her shoulder and now Lee's just on the attack. And you can see Allie, it's that, it's the left arm that Lee targeted. Yes. And even when he was on her with that ground and pound, her left arm was just sort of hanging there. She wasn't able to use it to even defend herself. And now Moriarty has taken control of this match. And again, Lee Moriarty is so smart going after the left arm. You watched Allie Catch earlier through those big right-handed strikes. She's right-handed, so her right arm has more strength. Her left arm, her weak point. That's where Lee Moriarty is winning. Moriarty got that arm tied up and now looking, looking for a submission here. Oh, positioned her perfectly. Allie, Can he get it? No. Yeah, Ali is using all the strength she has to try to stop this. Oh. To the elbow and now just manipulating the small joints in the fingers and the wrists of Alley Cat. what pro wrestlers do. Well, everyone knows what it feels like to, you know, get your fingers slammed in a car door. Yeah, imagine that. That's what Ali Catch is dealing with right now. And Lee Moriarty on the attack on the outside. Getting some high fives. Big, big stop, and our official is making the count, but Moriarty taking his time with Catch here on the outside. Finally tosses her back inside. Vin, I gotta ask, is this 
new style of Lee Moriarty, it is different. It, you have seen it on television, but is this because of the quote-unquote loss that he had last season? Is this why Lee Moriarty is a little more aggressive? I love I love to see an aggressive Lee Moriarty. Well, you know, as we've seen time and again, as professional wrestlers, they start to get, you know, more and more fame, more and more notoriety. Very deserved on the part of Lee Moriarty. Oh! Oh, ow! To the nose! But also, every time you, you come home, as it were, and this is Lee Moriarty's hometown, you feel like you always have something to prove. And you, you don't want to be, you know, you don't want to be the guy who got famous and got lazy. And I think that that is part of Lee's aggression. And now, Allie is just reaching, trying to feed off the energy of the fans here in Mr. Smalls, and they are giving it all to her. Oh, again to that left shoulder. Big strike. And Lee Moriarty's gonna go right back to that arm with that European style uppercut. But Allie Catch, with those big strikes, if she can break this momentum, it's gonna be big for her. She does wrestle in some death match environments, and that sometimes that pain, that shock, can bring you back to life, and it seems like it has done it for Alley Catch. And she also has every single fan here, and Mr. Smalls cheering her on now. Alley Catch sending Moriarty into the corner again. Smart by Alley Catch, just the right shoulder. Trying to create space to oh. get some momentum. Moriarty gets up the elbow. Moriarty up top a catch. Puts a stop to that plan. I've never seen Lee Moriarty move that quick to the top rope. He is in some trouble. He's trying to go big. Allie follows Lee up top, and you can see Lee was was trying to stop this. But catch with the superplex. If she can roll this through, yep. oh no! Smart by Moriarty. Oh! You heard the crack of the knee. Here's the pile driver. Now Lee fights oh, it. Her arm. She couldn't quite get the pile driver. I don't. I don't think she could lift Lee with the arm. And now a quick mouth trap pin. And no. Catch with the roll. Catch now again. So you go for that big finish now. This is it. Oof. Moriarty with another roll up. Transition. Transition. Through. Border City. The Border City stretch. It's locked on. 
and is locked in and she's in the center of the ring bed and she's got nowhere to go. Lee Moriarty has got Alley Cats trapped. She's trying to reach for the ropes, trying to crawl. But in a submission like this, you don't have to drag just yourself. You have to drag your opponent to the rope as well. Yeah. She's close. And Lee Moriarty has those feet positioned between the ropes and Ali Catch's arm. Great positioning by Moriarty. She made it. That's a break. Moriarty can't believe it. Lee, relentless, immediately back to the arm. Oh. Knocked her out. Cover. Oh, Allie though kicks out immediately. You can see the disbelief on the face of Lee Moriarty, who truly is giving Ali Catch everything he has. I think Lee Moriarty might have more to give, but as you said, Ali Catch just has this uh, this gas tank, this uh, this ability to continue to fight beyond I don't, anyone I've ever witnessed. And this is just disrespect on the part of Moriarty. Well, don't come into Lee Moriarty's home of Pittsburgh, and all these people are cheering for Alley Catch and not the hometown hero. And it, 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 I think Lee Moriarty is getting frustrated more and more every time. Oh! oh what a shot! Oh, but Alley, you can see her sort of cranking her neck. She goes in for a shot of her own. Big forearm to Moriarty. Catch, not backing down at all. And I don't know how wise this is from Moriarty. This is <laughs> Alley Catch's game. A beautiful forearm right to the shoulder, not the neck. Come on. Ooh. Jab by Catch and one by Moriarty. Another by Catch. And now Moriarty throwing some kicks. A big jump by Alley Catch. Both thinking the same thing there. And again. Oh! Allie catches out on her feet. What a shot from Lee Moriarty. This is his hometown. Oh! Oh! Moriarty. Oh, got caught! the biggest shot that Alley Catch has taken. All the adrenaline just pushed right through. And if she's gonna finish it, she's gotta go for the pallet driver right here. She's got that pallet driver loaded up. Moriarty takes a knee. Oh! Chopped in the throat, but a headbutt by Catch. She go for it. There's the pallet driver. She's got it. One arm. One arm. And Dangley, if she's able to get that extra torque, this is over. And I think she, her, she might have a separate shoulder. She's trying to get it back in the socket. Oh! Just a huge leaping strike by Moriarty. Bang! That's it. Count to a million. She's trying to use her feet to get to the ropes, and Moriarty saw it. Now those hammer fists coming down. Now back, back to the stretch, and our official needs to keep an eye on this, because Allie. And a tap. Allie barely able to even tap. Your winner, Lee Moriarty. Defeating Alley Cat after.
Walker is absolutely dismantling her shoulder. And it is that new attitude of Lee Moriarty. And it is, I'm sorry to say, it's paying off. Absolutely. Lee Moriarty came in with a plan. Went after the shoulder early in the match. Used it the entire time. Oh, and now, found a way to win. Now he has a show of respect for Allie. After again just targeting her arm. So after that incredible main event, a first time ever match, you're only going to see it here and enjoy, we have wrapped up our very first episode of the season, but don't worry, we got more next week, we are coming at you with not one, but two, enjoy championship defenses, it's our enjoy championship as well as our tag team Versus Billy Dixon. Wow, what a shocker. Holiday street fight. And what? This is not. You guys hear me? You can yeah, pick me we, up? We can hear you, yeah. All right, cool. I'll be the first to say I was wrong about Ali Cash. She's a very good, very competent, and capable professional wrestler. Don't sleep on her. Don't sleep on her. Okay, so normally I, I, I'm a little upset when people on commentary. It's usually Derek Dillinger, but I'll allow that because I Pittsburgh agree. That's a Pittsburgh legend. Allie Catch, hell of a professional wrestler. We will see you next week, our next episode of Season 7. Enjoy wrestling.